I'm Bianca Renee, and you're watching Bianca Renee today. And today is Foundation Friday, but it's not gonna be your average Foundation Friday. It's more of a Fenty Friday because I went to Sephora and went a little Fenty crazy and bought just about everything in her line that I didn't own. Now, if you don't know what Fenty is, Hello, it's Rihanna's makeup line, and last summer she released a foundation range of 40 different shades of foundation, causing pandemonium in the makeup industry and really setting new standards. And she's a singer coming into the makeup artist world and killing the game. So last year, not only did she announce 40 different shade ranges for her foundation, now she just released 10 new shades in addition to those foundation shades, giving her a total of 50 colors to choose from. So if you don't have a Fenty color, I mean, what color are you? But the newest news in the Fenty world is her new concealers. I am a very big concealer girl. I have been concealing acne and dark circles for as long as I can remember. And I'm very particular about my concealer. So I was so excited to try these. Went into Sephora to get one concealer and ended up spending $240.90. Yeah, I don't really know how it, it, it happened. Everything escalated so quickly and I just needed everything. So let's just do a little quick rundown of the receipt. So the concealers are $20 each. My little lip color here, $24. This is, wow, this was the most expensive lip color I own. Uh, and then I had to get the setting powders that look like this. These are $32 each and I got banana and cashew. Then I had to get the eyeliner, which is another $20, and the original foundation price, once again, is $34. So the face you're looking at right now is a full Fenty face. I used all the products I just showed you, and I am very pleased with some of these items. So without further ado, let me show you exactly how I applied all these items to my face. Alrighty, let's do this. Now before I really get started, I want to show you a little quick comparison between the foundation that I bought last summer, which is the color 370, versus the new one that I bought, which is 360, just one shade lower. So there is 370 on me. It's like a very warm, kind of orangey brown. Then I went and bought 360 which is a much more cool tone that I think matched better with my actual skin tone now. So the first Fenty product I'll be using is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Primer, and I got this last summer as well. And prime the face. All right, the face is primed. It's supposed to blur the pores and imperfections. We're gonna let this kind of set a little bit. And for my foundation, I will be using a beauty blender and grabbing my Pro Filter Fenty Beauty Foundation in the color 360. So let's just do one good pump. But before I apply my foundation, let's just address the elephant in the room. Um, I did have not one, but two lucky volunteers. I have this little scar right here and this little blemish here, but luckily we are testing foundation coverage and concealers today. So we're gonna try to conceal these guys as much as possible. So let's just see what the foundation does coverage wise. Not bad. Yes, that's what I wanna see, is to not see it. No foundation with foundation. I do think this 360 is a perfect match for my skin tone. All right, we are looking better already. Primer set, foundation set, and now the star of the show, the concealers. Now with the Fenty concealers, I tried to make it as easy as possible for us to figure out what concealer shade we should choose. So I am the color 360 in foundation, so that means that I should be using 360 in concealer. And they made their concealers a little bit lighter than your foundation because usually it's used to highlight. But I bought both to really test to see how similar the shades are. So let's do a little 
test, shall we? Packaging is really cute. This looks like the baby sister to the foundation. Same white top. And let me just do a little swatch on my hand. So here is the foundation. There's my shade. And the concealer looks like this. Oh, it's definitely much thicker. Feels very smooth and creamy. Hmm, it is a little bit lighter. So I could probably use this under my eye, but I usually like to go even brighter for my under eyes. So I end up buying number 310 more of a light yellow to really highlight. And because I went a little crazy, I did get a contour color, which is number 420. Now I initially bought 360, the same as my skin tone, to conceal these areas, but let's test it out. So let's go back to my lovely volunteers and get some coverage. I'm gonna put a dot there dot there hmm it definitely is lighter than my actual skin tone you don't really want to highlight your blemishes but I want this was an experiment I want to see how this looked so I guess the lesson learned here is if you want the concealer to be exactly like your foundation shade you might actually have to go a shade darker but now let's really get some highlighting under my eyes this is the number 310 I'm just gonna use a little bit at first Wow, very brightening. It did brighten my under eye, but I kind of want to go back in with my 360, just out of curiosity, to see how well this would have worked as a highlight color. That's actually not bad. Maybe I could have just stuck with 360. So it has a very creamy finish, definitely more full coverage than even the foundation. And I'm really liking how it's looking now. These concealers have 0.25 fluid ounces and they're $26 each. Now I'm going to set my under eye and all my highlighted areas with the Fenty Beauty Banana Setting Powder. So this packaging is beautiful. It has this shiny, silver Fenty Beauty top. And if we open this. Now this is just one of the eight color options for their setting powders. I like to highlight with like a yellow type of powder. So I got the banana one and I'm really excited to see how this looks. Ooh, that is definitely mattifying things. With the setting powder, without. I'm really loving the setting powder. This might be my favorite Fenty thing thus far. Look at that. Now I'm gonna go back into my darker concealer, which is number 420. I haven't contoured with a liquid color in a while, so I hope I don't mess this up. I usually do powder, but let's just, let's just go for it. Hmm, probably could have gone darker than this. How it blends out. Not bad. I probably could have gone a little darker. Okay, face is coming right along. So those are all the concealers that I have. Now I'm gonna set my entire face with another setting powder, which is cashew. Pat the baby's bottom. I don't have any Fenty brushes, but we're just gonna make it work. This one is by Thrive Cosmetics. Tapping this on here. Um, this should eliminate all shine. Nice. I am really, really feeling the powders. The only non-Fenty items I have would be my eyebrows, my blush, and my eyeshadow. So I'm gonna do that real fast and then come back. And I'm back and I did decide to add a little bit of the Fenty Beauty, what color is this? 
Hustler Baby of the Kilowatt Highlight line that dropped last year. That's the little shiny gold color that I have here. And I am gonna be using this same highlight as my highlight for my cheeks. So let's just pop some of that Hustler Baby. Put it on the nose, a little bit here, a little bit of there. Now I'm gonna grab something that I didn't know I needed until I got into Sephora, which is the liquid eyeliner. This is called Cuz I'm Black. <laughs> I like that. Ooh, look how beautiful this is. This is her fly liner because these wings are about to be flying off my eye. It's a little pop-up lid. Ooh, I did it. I literally am only able to do wings with one liquid liner, which is my NYX one, because I like how dark black that is, but this one is actually giving me a great pigmented black, and it goes on very easily. Usually felt tips, I feel like I had to like drag it across my eye, but I am very, very impressed by this. Ooh, it's a fly liner, all right, because we flying. The eyeliner is a go in my book. How much did I pay for this baby? $20. So this is the first high-end eyeliner that is Beyond Grenade approved. Now let me put on my lashes. Much better. And now last but certainly not least is my first Fenty lip color. This is part of the Stunna Lip Paint Collection, the color Uncuffed. I really wanted to get that popular red one that everyone has but I thought that might dominate the looks. So I got this beautiful magenta pink Fenty one instead. Packaging on this is literally beautiful. I love the shiny top. Oh, it does have an interesting brush to it. It has like a little bump at the top. Oh yeah. This is the kind of pink that I wear every day. So there you have it, my full Fenty face. I'm very happy with everything that I got in this line. My only concern is making sure that you buy the correct color because there are so many colors to choose from. I do think I have to say that out of all the Fenty items that I bought, my favorite would be the new Fenty Beauty Banana Setting Powder. This is great. It really made everything nice and matte and it set everything without creasing. So I'm in love with the powder. I also am very surprised with the fly liner. This eyeliner is bomb. If you've never seen my original Fenty Beauty video where I review the foundation and wear it for like an eight hour day and do a wear test, I'll make sure to link it above. I have noticed that with the Pro Filter Foundation, it didn't keep me extremely matte to the end of the day. But since then, as some of you loyal subscribers know, I have been dealing with a lot with my skin and I have gotten my oil production down a lot, so I'm not as oily as I used to be. And now because of that, this foundation does work a lot better on my skin and has become one of my favorite foundations to grab when I want a very glowy, healthy looking skin when I don't want to be too extremely dry or matte. So if you have normal or dry skin, I do think you'll love the filter foundation. If you're extremely oily, you will have to blot a couple times because you could get a little shiny by the end of the day. But I am interested to see how well this foundation holds up with the new setting powder. So I'm gonna be experimenting with these products all week long. And if you wanna see my results, make sure you follow me on Instagram at Ms. Bianca Renee so you can always get all my updates on how these products work in the long run. But as of right now, I do think my skin looks very healthy, very glowy, and Brianna, bravo. If you enjoyed this first impression full face Fenty video, make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I post two videos every week, once on Friday and once on Sunday. So I hope to see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.